Mm-hmm. Is it possible for you to hear the voice of God on your own? How many times have you had the voice of God, Barbara? I think every day, every moment, because mm-hmm. God is always speaking. Yeah. Um, so I do believe that you can hear the voice of God for yourself. So how do you discern? Moment. How do you get to know mm-hmm. that this is not out of the food that I ate last night? <laughs> This, the, the, I mean, the things that I've been thinking about, mm-hmm. maybe you, you, you're going through some challenges in life yeah. or happiness in life. No, no, just as in South in Ezra talk about how much you're going to be able it's true. How are you able to mm-hmm. decipher mm-hmm. or to see and know that God is the one speaking to me mm-hmm. from your experience? I think for me, one, um, just the spirit of discernment mm-hmm. from the Holy Spirit. So he bears witness and he'll tell you um, this is the voice of God. or Because, um, you know, God speaks, yeah. Jesus speaks, the Holy Spirit speaks. Mm-hmm. So the trinity does yeah. speak to us and um most of the times you even know who is speaking to you at what mm. point um but on top of that a lot of what the lord will speak to you is aligned to scripture it'll always have a scripture basis ah. to it even if it's something to do with um your own you know the day-to-day kind mm. of things you need to deal with somehow it'll have its base the basis on scripture even if it's not a scripture yeah. outright but the principles mm-hmm. are biblical yeah very true very true mm-hmm. and uh i like yes. moses boldly say to god now show me your glory mm-hmm. and god delivered if you if you read uh, exodus chapter 33 verse 18 Mm -hmm. moses had to hide in a rock as the glory of the lord passed by and although he wasn't allowed to see god's face Mm -hmm. he received the assurance he needed to do what the lord had asked so god revealed himself Mm -hmm. and assured him that indeed i am the one who's speaking Mm -hmm. so most of us today might not be able to behold the lord's glory the way moses did yeah. but when we accept jesus christ as our lord and personal savior mm-hmm. we receive what jesus described as being better than his physical appearance his physical presence and that is the holy spirit of god yeah how could anything possibly be better than seeing jesus you might be asking yourself because if you ask me i'd like to see jesus i'd like to behold his face Mm -hmm. but jesus knew his living earth would allow each and every one of us who accepts him to receive this beautiful promise Mm -hmm. that we know we have somebody we have the person of the holy spirit Mm -hmm. that even if he's not there i mean jesus in those days jesus had to be in in as much as he was god at some time before his ascension to heaven or before his resurrection he would only be at one place at a time yes but the holy spirit of god Mm -hmm. that jesus left us as a helper Mm -hmm. is omnipresent omniscient like god himself god Mm -hmm. the father the son and the holy spirit the trinity they share some aspects in them yeah so the helper as according to the book of john chapter 14 verse 26 the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name he will teach you all things Mm. all things and bring you to remembrance all that i have said Mm. to you that this spirit of god Mm -hmm. the holy spirit that the disciples was told to go and wait in the upper room Mm -hmm. a good majority of them left and just a few remained Mm -hmm. to get to receive this holy spirit is what most of us are missing in this generation Mm -hmm. is what most of us are missing in this dispensation that is the reason why we cannot even hear the voice of god Mm -hmm. because we have put our trust in man the bible says cast is he who puts his trust in man Mm -hmm. you put your trust in your pastor Mm -hmm. you put your trust in your papa Mm -hmm. your mama you forget Mm -hmm. that it is not them it is god and behold i have a good message for you tonight you are cast if you're putting your trust in man Mm. that i I can only hear the voice of god through my papa i can only hear the voice of god through this man of god i can only receive through them yes god is using them 
but you can also hear the voice of god yourself mm. it is because we are lazy it is laziness mm, it's true. it is laziness mm. you don't want to study the bible you don't want to read the bible you don't want to get to a place where you are secluding yourself mm -hmm. from the lusts of the flesh from the i mean you know the majali yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. the, cares of, the cares of this world you don't want to pay the price yeah. That is why you're limbicizing all your problems mm -hmm. to the man of God. And that is the reason why mm -hmm. every doctrine will come and you will receive it yeah. as gospel truth. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you this. As long as you have the Holy Spirit of God, yes. then you can hear that which God wants you to hear. Because he's a helper. Yeah. Now, number one, how can you know that then this spirit that you're hearing mm -hmm. is the spirit of god and not the spirit of the enemy yes the spirit of god is consistent and steady just as barbara said yeah. the spirit's voice will never contradict something mm -hmm. from his word yeah. or his character yes. the word of god and the character of, of god, god. Yeah. The Holy Spirit cannot do that. And you can also discern the mm. spirit that is talking to your man of God. Yes. Yeah. You can compare. Mm. Is it in line with the word of God? If it is not in line with the word of God, then that one is coming from the pits of hell. Run away. John 16, 13. The Bible says, mm -hmm. however, when he, that is the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth, truth. Yeah. for he will not speak on his own mm. authority but whatever he hears he will speak and he will tell you things mm -hmm. to come yeah. that is the spirit of god mm -hmm. number two it may convict mm -hmm. listen but it does not cruelly threaten mm -hmm. The Spirit of God does not threaten. Mm -mm. If you don't do this, you're dying tomorrow. Mm. If you don't give this tithe, you're dying tomorrow. I mean, you feel some some things in your life. Mm. You, for the last three months. Yeah. And this Spirit comes and tells you, Anunda, mm -hmm. Anunda, <laughs> if you don't give your tithe by tomorrow night, mm. you will be past tense. Mm. That is a threat. Yeah. The Spirit of God will tell you, mm -hmm. God is merciful. Pay your tithe mm -hmm. and God will open the floodgates of heaven mm -hmm. and pour out a blessing more than you can contain. Mm -hmm. It does not give you threats. It does not bring fear. Fear is satanic and of the enemy. Yeah. And his goal is to, for us to leave our lives captives to it. Yeah. So the spirit of God mm -hmm. does not bring fear. Yeah. He does not threaten. Mm -hmm. He does not tunya you. Mm -hmm. He does not bogo you. <laughs> No, it gives you comfort, it gives you confidence, and it comes in joy and love. And finally, mm -hmm. it propels you to take action. He wants you to live the full life that he planned for you. Mm -hmm. As to fulfill your purpose in Christ Jesus. You can confirm the scripture in Psalms 143 mm -hmm. verse 10 and Galatians 5 verse 6. So that is it. You can hear the voice of God for yourself mm -hmm. and by yourself. Yeah. So desire to hear this voice of God. Mm -hmm. Desire to be filled of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Desire to be filled of the Holy Spirit of God. Yes. And you will not go wrong. Mm -hmm. He is the helper that we were left with. 96.9 FM, Pearl Radio.